Oh, coach, you mentioned it right off the bat. It's a lot better when you win, man. Just do that. How, how nice of a palate comes over Saturday. Yeah, it's always good to get a Gulf South win. Not just a win, man, but win the Gulf South. We're kind of on this um, patch of, of games where we, we weren't successful a year ago. Now we're able to check off that Mississippi College box. And now we move on to shorter. And so it's always good. It's good for our kids. Um, it's just a good vibe. But we, we got to get right back to work for a big one this week. You know, you mentioned it. This patch of games and this patch of opponents that you guys struggled against last year. Yeah. To overcome one of the demons you had last year of being able to bounce back after a loss, how proud of you were the guy for the way the guys took care of this? Yeah, proud of the way this team has done that all year. And so we kind of, you know, I figured as the head coach, man, that just watching these guys work, and watching these guys be with one another and love being around one another, I, I, feel, I felt like we'd always have a chance. And so these guys went to work last week. Or they continue to go to work throughout this week. And so it's, they're really fun to watch when they're clicking. Uh, overall, you know, homecoming, big week, lots of distractions. How do you keep the guys focused in? Yeah, we got a desire to get it the right way, man. And when you're trying to get something the right way, then nothing matters besides what's in front of you. And so... Our guys have done a really good job. We talk about those things. We're really open about them. Homecoming is about the game. I don't care what festivities are going on. If you've got a football team, man, homecoming is about the football game. And so uh, we know that there's a lot of eyes that are going to be on us, people coming home to celebrate their experiences and reunite re, uh, with other people that they went to school with here. We need to put a good product out on the field, give them something to be proud of, and do something that we didn't do a year ago, which is win homecoming. You know, in the past, Shorter's been the typical homecoming opponent. They ain't that anymore. Just what, what, what stands out on the No, there are no homecomings in the Gulf South, man. So I know we have to play some, but, but uh, this team plays extremely hard. Uh, they're well coached, man. They got, a, they got a scheme for everything you try to do defensively. They got a, a great defensive scheme. They're sound. They fly around. They love to hit people. And so I, their record, man, records go out the window. Um, this team is always giving Van Austin State trouble. Uh, especially in the first half, and they're a great first half team right now, still. And so we got to be ready to play to meet and exceed that energy, and hopefully get some get some early uh, success. Speaking of first halves, how important was it last Saturday for you guys to start strong and start playing? Yeah, you know we didn't know what we were gonna get, and so when they defer and we take the ball, it's it's very important that we go down and, and score first, so we can at least have some points on the board with not knowing what what, they, what we were gonna get from them. Uh, we were expecting option, and so when that happens, man, it's, it's just slow. It, you know, possessions are limited. Uh, they didn't give us the option, but they did run the football quite a bit. Probably the fastest first half I've ever been a part of. I think it was an hour long. And so uh, when you're not going to get many possessions, I think both teams got nine possessions, man, you got to take the first one and go score so you can kind of dictate a little bit. We were able to do that. And just how important was it to have, like, Jermaine Wilson um, have kind of like a breakout game like, yeah. last Saturday? Yeah, you know, Jermaine is one of a, a lot of guys uh, that we feel like can have a good day. It just happened to be his day. Uh, but you've seen that with Isaiah Flowers. You've seen that with Eric Watts. Uh, there's more guys. Travis Tisdale is in that room. Um, we, we Whoever's got the hot hand that day is who we go with. And so he was the one we went with that day, so it was good to see. But – we look for that out of any one of our back. But Cheney's coming back, and so um, hopefully we can continue to get that production from that room regardless of who it comes from.